This video might single-handedly be the most entertaining, the most shocking, the most educational, the most eye-opening, the most what did he just show video that you've ever seen on this particular channel. This is considered somewhat of an accessory, so I thought it'd be appropriate to be on this channel. Now, it's also been listed on my fragrance channel because there's a little bit of a backstory that I will share with you. This video might be a little bit long, but I trust me, You've never seen any accessory like this in your life that I thought I was gonna get arrested for. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you on to the 1G, well, special box. I'm kind of a big deal. Listen, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy. See to you to the B to the A. Now, on this channel, you know I've reviewed a ton of jewelry as well as sunglasses. I'm a guy who's into accessories, men's accessories all across the board. And when I see something cool, I feel I'm responsible for putting you guys on, especially if it's something that catches me off guard like this as well as super interesting, which I believe this is. So a little bit of a backstory. You guys know or may not know that I have a fragrance channel, which is bigger than this channel, where I review, well, tons of fragrances. My fragrance collection is vast of over 500 plus fragrances, ranging from a dollar to... One million dollars. With that being said, I always get a ton of DMs and suggestions of fragrances that I should try. So I got a DM from one particular person who sent me a link. He goes, yo, Cuba, you should try out this fragrance called Cocaine. And I said, hmm? Not that I've ever indulged, but I'm saying hypothetically speaking, that sounds very interesting. Let me check it out. I go ahead and click on the link. Now, to be fair, I've reviewed other fragrances called Cocaine before. There's a very popular fragrance brand by the name of Franck Boucle that has a fragrance called Cocaine, which is a very nice fragrance. So I said, oh, another fragrance called Cocaine. Cool, great topic for a video. I click on the link and I see the bottle of Cocaine. Boom, click on it, it's come from Switzerland. I had to pay a little bit more, like $25 shipping. I said, fuck it, let's do it, it's content. Boom, I get the fragrance maybe in two days. Three max from Switzerland. I was like, that's mighty quick. I get the packaging and here is the presentation from a brand called 1G. And I was like, 1G, hmm, what does that stand for? So I get the fragrance. And I'll put a link to the other video because the video went wow. The TikTok went insane. So much so that the brand reached out to me, but I'm skipping ahead. So boom. Here's the fragrance. So my reaction, and I'm going to reenact it, so like the dramatizations that you see in some shows, I open up the box and I go, what the fuck is this? I completely negate the fact that there's a fragrance in here called cocaine because of the accessories that the fragrance came in. So let's start with the fragrance because this is not a fragrance channel, okay? Here's the fragrance bottle and it's called cocaine, oud wood. Spoiler alert, fragrance to me smells really, really nice. So I'll put it back in the presentation. And once you open the presentation, you see the following. Quite unusual, right? I'm like, oh, that's a very interesting credit card style branding. Is it though? So I open this up and I take this out. I'm like, let me check this credit card. And I'm looking at it. I'm like, wow, I can see my reflection in this particular credit card. Very interesting. So I open up the packaging and I'm like, wow, this is metal. Like my Amex. Hmm. Looking at it, as you can see here, there's a matte finish and a very reflective shine finish where you can see your reflection. So I'm like, hmm, interesting. Oh, but there's a carbon fiber card holder attached to it. Well, that's peculiar. Why does it have four grips on the bottom like legs? Then it clicked. I'm like, oh, really? This is what came with the fragrance. So automatically, just start getting in my head, the feds are gonna knock on my door, I order some black market shit, oh my God, I'm dead. Then I look down and I'm like, it gets worse! Cause there's two carbon fiber straws in here that say 1G on it, mm, what else can this potentially be? So you got a fragrance named Cocaine, you have a little chrome card with a reflection that you can see your reflection, then you got a little bit of a carbon fiber thing with footsies, and you're just thinking, oh, this is not, they can't sell this. Now, after my paranoia quelled, I had to do some homework because I was really 
concerned. But apparently this is marketed as a snuff kit. And I'm like, snuff kit? Isn't snuff what baseball players use? They put it in their cheeks or their mouth and here, there, and it looks like they have a testicle in their cheek and they're spitting every five minutes with black shit all over their shirts and cups and all that. How? That doesn't make any sense. And then I learned, education time, there in the snuff community, there is nasal snuff, like snortable snuff, AKA snortable tobacco. And I was like, what? That can't be a thing. Then I started looking up a video and maybe I'll put a screenshot of a video that I found and it blew me away. Unfortunately, due to copyright claims, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more dramatization and voiceover work because of this clip, so let's go. Hey, Robertico, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Let me ask you a quick question. Who's that big-headed fuck standing outside looking at me funny? I don't like him. That's just the statue, you paranoid fuck. Listen, while you're here, let me give you a little snuff. It's called Jock's Choice. Jock's Choice, huh? <laughs> All right, let's give it a go. <laughs> I'll try anything, at least twice. That's what my wife said. All right, so I take a little bit of this, right? And I put it, uh, oh, oh, a little bit more, a little bit more. Yeah, let me put this on my snuff box. Yeah. Ooh. All right, here we go. Oh, huh. mm, 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 mm. oh, 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 <clears throat> oh, that's, that's kind of good. Whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, mom, I'm coming. I'm coming home. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of good, huh? Yeah, that's insane. I didn't know that was a thing. So automatically, I start researching and Googling, and I'm like, yo, people snort this shit to get a mental high. Tobacco provides this mental stimulus, and there's other health benefits as opposed to like the lung cancer aspect and all the bad shit. It does have some sort of medicinal type uses. Now, let's be clear. This is, you know, Multi-use, I don't promote, don't recommend, don't anything of any illegal contents, but snuff is not illegal and it's very common apparently. So fast forwarding a little bit, I dropped the video. The video go was not viral, but very popular. And the brand takes notice and sees my content or whatever. And you know, really enjoys the content and really enjoyed the video. And it was like, oh, and I check out the website and there is like high end expense. And I mean expensive items on there, full catered around these beautiful construction, very high quality, sanitized, sterile. They, they take into consideration like bacterial, all this other shit. And I'm like, what is this? First of all, very expensive, very high quality, super luxurious, very fancy. And then they decide to send me this to check out. Look at this shit. We have here one of their ultra luxury boxes here. So this ultra luxury box has not truly been opened as of yet other than unwrapped. So we're gonna be looking at this together. I don't know what to expect, but I'm pretty sure shock and awe will be here for all of us. So let's go ahead and open up this 1G box. It has a little piece of tape here. So let's take the tape off. It has a little sealed tape. There's no marking here. They really keep a discreet packaging. I don't know why, it's just a snuff box. And let's open this puppy up and see what's what. So we open it up, it's like a cigar case, it feels like, yes, very protective with a seal on it, kind of like a humidor, and there is, I don't know what the hell this is. So let's zoom in a little bit and see what's what. Okay, so there's a packet here of gloves. Okay, so there's some gloves here. I don't know why there's gloves. Should I put on gloves for lack of evidence? I, I don't know what this is for. Oh, these are very soft and silky. Bijou Tuel. I have no idea what that means. If you guys know Swedish, uh, let me know. I don't know if this is a particular brand. This doesn't sound like the brand, but maybe it is. I don't know. So there's some very fancy gloves in here, which honestly I am inclined to put on because <laughs> not guilty, OJ. Let's put on these gloves here. <clears throat> okay, so there seems to be a little handkerchief here. Now what I'm going to assume that this handkerchief is, a snuff handkerchief, because I looked up that when you use nasal snuff, you get a little remnants right under the nose and you want to clean up. I guess that only happens with nasal snuff and nothing else. So let's put that to the side and then just an empty thing here. And oh Lord, it's a spoon of some sort, I guess for scooping the nasal snuff. So here we have a one 
G spoon with maybe like a little holder there so you can hang it on a chain, like a pendant, so to speak. Very shallow, heavy duty spoon. Doesn't seem cheap at all. Let's continue. All right, let's take this top tray off. Holy Christ. Okay. So, oh shit, this doesn't, I still feel, Viewer discretion is advised. I'm still slightly uncomfortable. I just don't know what to expect and I don't know much of this shit, but let's continue. Okay, so, wow, okay. Um, there's a bunch of packs here. Oh, portable mirrors. Oh, wow. Okay, so these aren't metal. These are, I don't know what these are. I gotta touch them by hand. Oh, oh they're they're not light. They're, they're thick. I mean, they're, they definitely have Oh, wow. Okay, there's several in here. I don't know why or what type of person they think I am, but you can see my reflection clearly. I'm nervous. Okay, so we'll put those to the side. Oh, I see a couple of my buddies here in rose gold finishes. Yes, we're seeing here the 1G nasal snuff straws in rose gold plating. So that's, um, <clears throat> Wow, okay, so there's two of them because you should never do it by yourself, you should always have a friend. Okay, moving down to, I have no idea what the, this is heavy, what the hell, is there product in here? Holy shit, let me put this glove back on because I don't know what's up in this piece. Okay, this is heavy, this is like quite heavy. Like, before I open it, I wanna weigh it. So just in case you think I'm capping, I just weighed it on my digital scale. This is 146 grams of metal in this piece. So I unscrew it. If there's something in here, I might have to stop the video. What the hell is this? Is this a... Okay, it's a grinder. Do you grind snuff? Or is it just, oh my God. Okay, so this is a grinder of some sort. Very heavy, very heavy duty, compact. I'm nervous. Okay, let's put this back. There's nothing in there. Seems very sterile and clean. And I guess there's two of them. Well, this one feels a little lighter. I don't know what's in there. Oh my God. Oh, this is just an extra one, just in case you want to double up. <sighs> okay, let's keep going. All right, so we have here the infamous 1G card. Oh, there's a couple of them. Thank you guys for multiples, because I really need them. Okay, let's put that to the side. And more stuff here. So I don't know what the hell this is, but it looks like it's rose gold tone. Very nicely packaged and presented. Oh, it's a full rose gold table. Yeah, cause carbon fiber wasn't enough. Just added, I mean, beautiful finish. This one doesn't have the little footsies grips, but knowing these guys, it's probably somewhere down here and I can stick them on myself whenever I'm ready. Still nervous. Okay. I mean, beautiful finish, very heavy as well. This is not bendable. This is not like a Amex Platinum or Black Car, not that I would know anything about that, but very heavy duty, very clean, very nice. Let's put that back in there, my Lord. Okay, so what do we have here, a second one? Oh, this is even heavier, what the fuck is it? Okay, let's open this joint up. Oh, I seen this on the wet, oh, these are, okay. Look at this joint. So, this is the snuff holder. So you can put in your pocket or like, you know, stash it away and you have your snuff. I saw this on the website. So essentially you, has little grips here. You slide it open and it has the carriers for the snuff. Yes, only for the snuff. So you put one of these straws, I'm assuming in here like so. And there you have your full travel snuff kit with, listen, these are like lockable, like it doesn't slide all the way open easily. It really is slideable with like clicks. If you can hear the clips. And I'm assuming this is for just the right amount of snuffing like so. And it's only for tobacco use, snuff, tobacco. Very heavy duty, super amazing quality. I don't know what this is for. I'm sure there's a perp, oh, it slides open. Why does this slide open? What does this do? Is there a cat in here? What is this? Oh, this is so you can slide the piece out. So instead of me pushing it in as I did, you just slide it in and you lock it in place. Uh, there's some technology and beautiful craftsmanship going in here. Look at this, layers, nice mirror finish. Wow, this, what world, 
Dude, what planet do I live in? This is incredible. Um, I, I don't assume that there's anything else under here. I don't know. I mean, this in itself is a super impressive setup for people who are into snuff. Yeah, there's nothing in here and this thing can definitely be used like as a humidor or something if you want to remove all the items. But all these items in here are definitely not inexpensive as they're over a thousand dollars. No lie. This entire kit is well over a thousand dollars. Now, if you're going to tell me that you've seen stuff like this on the regular, I don't know what type of lifestyle you do or how long you've been in the snuffing industry. But this personally is a complete and utter shock to me and honestly still slightly unnerving. I'm sure nefarious individuals would think that this is for something else other than snuff, but it is not. It is a snuff kit. This is the predominant piece. It's very impressive, amazing quality, beautiful shine, great gold tone. They have it in chrome, rose gold, yellow gold, I believe carbon as well. And obviously, as you can see, it comes with that little matching table, whatnot. There's a lot of high quality ingredients here that I don't know if I'm gonna take up snuffing. I, after I saw videos of snuff, I can't, I'm not gonna say that it's not interesting. I didn't know you could snuff tobacco. The joints, the cans are like five to $10. Apparently they got Russian snuff, Scottish snuff, Irish snuff, English snuff. There's a bunch of different snuffs. Allegedly it started in the South and then migrated overseas like everything else. So if you guys are interested or you're snuffers, uh, I will put a link in the description. Shout out to 1G for sending me this and providing you guys with a 20% off coupon code, which is insane. I don't know how many of y'all can even put this into effect, but I'll put a link in the description with the coupon code. If you're interested in any of these pieces, you can go check on their website. Uh, and let me know what you think. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is biggest in the game. I think the feds are coming. Smooches. Put a fly gun, hold a money for the motor roller, star tack when it's time to call back. For the rough rugger than raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you